Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Today we're going to be looking at another throwing item and this one is a rather nice multi-spectral uh, weapon known as Gimmer Shred. Gimmer Shred is quite honestly a very amazing uh, weapon just simply because it allows you to bypass physical immunes at a point when you're going to encounter them on a regular basis. Um, as we go over this item, I think you'll get the idea that Gimmer Shred is a pretty amazing weapon, not only as a throwing weapon, but also as a, uh, a just simply a weapon to use uh, for like a Paladin Zealer or a Frenzy Barbarian or, or any other character who might like a little bit of extra elemental damage in their repertoire. Uh, so right off the bat, you'll notice that it has 46 to 204 throw damage, which is uh, pretty nice. Uh, 52 to 201 uh, one-handed damage, uh, which is also very nice. Um, it has a strength requirement of 88 and a dex requirement of 108. Uh, a little bit high on the dex requirement there, but uh, certainly not with out of the norm, especially if you're a character who's trying to build block chance or uh, maybe you're trying to utilize a specific weapon. Um, 88 strength is not bad either, very low actually for level 70, and uh, level 70 is relatively high for this weapon, but it is a relatively nice weapon, so uh, I can understand it. Uh, it has very fast attack speed, of course, because it is a 30% uh, increased attack speed item, and it is also a normal attack speed item to begin with, so combined uh, between these two things, it tends to be a very quick weapon. Uh, we also have a 210% enhanced damage on this, which does vary between 160 to 210%. And, uh, and we also have some really nice elemental damage here. So we've got a 218 to 483 fire damage, uh, 29 to 501 lightning damage, and 176 to 397 cold damage with a 4 second duration. Um, on top of that, we also have an increased stack size, which is a bonus of 60, and on uh, 2.4, um, all of the stack sizes have been increased uh, from their original numbers back in 2.3. So instead of a uh, stack size of 240, now we have a stack size of 330 on this particular item. Now, Gimmer Shred can also be, come in a uh, ethereal form, uh, which is 68 to 306 damage, 77 to 300 on the melee, and uh, unfortunately, it does not have a replenishes quantity effect. Now, I'm actually kind of interested in this because Barbarian has recently gotten some very nice changes. Uh, one of them specifically is the ability to replenish quantity on critical strike, as well as the ability to not consume quantity, 57% uh, while utilizing a very high level of throwing mastery. And I'm interested to find out whether or not um, throwing an ethereal item could potentially work, work if you end up with enough crits, if you end up with enough uh, cease, um, you know, non consuming abilities and so forth and so on so we're going to test this real quick and we're going to play around with the idea that potentially a throwing item of ethereal nature might be okay if you're hitting the targets so uh, we have to make sure we're actually hitting things with the item uh, this is the important thing here because i'm i was actually working this out in my mind and i'm like well if you just walk outside and you just throw these you know just willy-nilly there's a very good chance that you could potentially waste all of the axes. However, if you went out and you threw them at a target that you knew you were gonna hit, like 100% chance or rather 95% chance, um, there's a very good chance that you could potentially uh, regenerate your stacks. You also have the ability to pierce targets, which means that if you went to a place where there was a large number of monsters um, and you threw your item um, you know, through a large number of monsters, piercing through multiple times, there's a very good chance you could end up with you know, quite a few hits on targets, which could potentially add up to a large number of regenerations. So right now, as you can see, I am at 238 quantity and we're going to play around and kill these monsters and we're going to see if the quantity goes down how much it goes down by and even if it goes up there is a possible chance that we could go up in quantity instead and a freaking spired helm dropped that's kind of cool that's a <laughs> that's a very interesting item so we uh we've killed all those guys and uh, let's go up here and make sure that we did we kill all the uh yeah we killed all these guys as well uh, let's go somewhere else like River Flame. Not bad. 
And uh, let's go ahead and throw these at some bugs. Definitely got a lot of hits going on here. Definitely doing pretty good as far as damage is concerned. And, uh, and quite honestly, I'm um, having a lot of fun murdering some stuff. Even I'm not even using double throw. I could be using two of these, of course, and getting more damage. Uh, but I really just kind of want to test out the quantity on this to see if ethereal items, ethereal throwing items that don't replenish quantity could potentially be a, uh, a source of uh, interesting effect for barbarians. So we fought quite a bit. We threw quite a large number of axes, and we are currently at 232 quantity. Not bad. Uh, not bad at all, actually. I feel like that's actually a pretty sweet amount of, uh, of loss there. Um, I even feel like if we were in the right place, like, for instance, uh, maybe if we went to, like, Stony Field or something, where there's a rather large number of small monsters, which could potentially uh, pierce through and hit multiple targets. Also, you have to consider that there's a very good chance that if we have more piercing equipment, like, for instance, a uh, Razor Tail to increase our pierce, uh, we would be piercing more often and hitting more targets, which is more potential chances to restore stacks. And uh, in those situations where we have the potential to restore t stacks, uh, we could essentially regenerate the quantity on an item. Um, it just depends on how, how we attack, and we don't want to make sure that, you know, we want to make sure that we're not wasting anything. I think that's the important thing, is that we've got to make sure that we're not just throwing them willy-nilly off into the darkness. Uh, they have to be hitting targets, and they have to be piercing targets, and they have to be hitting multiple targets. And it could be very interesting to play around with the entire idea of balancing, essentially, an ethereal item, which, once broken, would be gone forever. Um, if you could potentially make sure, you know, that when you're using it, you're hitting the targets. Um, you just have to make sure that when the icon pops up that it's getting low on durability, that you maybe go to, like, normal Act 1 or something, and, uh, you know, just find a big group of monsters and throw one axe through, like, a big giant swath of monsters hitting multiple targets in a row would probably do a pretty good job to regenerate the quantity. Um, I do notice that the... Um, the quantity doesn't go down very much. As you can see, I killed, I, sh I threw off quite a large number, and I'm still only at 231 out of 238 when I started. So I've only lost seven quantity out of all those axes that I've tossed. Not bad. Now, um, the throwing axes, these Gimmer Shreds, can be used as melee weapons as well. Um, the massive amount of fire, lightning, and cold damage can be absolutely crucial in finishing off physical immune monsters. Um, if you're a zealer or something like that, or a frenzy barbarian who's just having trouble with physical immunes, and you can get your hands on two Gimmer Shreds, or one Gimmer Shred if you're a paladin, um, you know, put them on, use it to kill the physical immune monster, and then swap back to your melee set. Um, it's really not a, uh, a difficult thing to do. It's a very small item. It's easy to carry around with you, and, uh, and it certainly is a very powerful one to have on hand. I always like to have a Gimmer Shred laying around just in case uh, for things like this. Uh, there's also another interesting thing you can do with Gimmer Shreds, which is um, you could put it on a, a Elementress Sorceress who uses Cold Mastery, Fire Mastery, and Lightning Mastery. Uh, Cold Mastery, Fire Mastery, and Lightning Mastery will enhance the damage on this. The Fire Damage will get boosted by Fire Mastery, the Lightning Damage will get boosted by Lightning Mastery, and the Cold Damage will get boosted by Cold Mastery. Uh, so when you throw a uh, Gimmer Shred as a Sorceress, uh, and you probably would have Enchant as well, you'd be doing a pretty massive amount of multi-spectral damage, which you could enhance with other items on your character. It's actually a pretty interesting idea, and I played around with it a while back, uh, a Gimmer Shred Sorceress uh, throwing axes, and, uh, and it was kind of an interesting build. Um, I had to build uh, a lot of, uh, you know, specifically like... Uh, I elemental damage charms and whatnot, and most of my equipment had elemental damage on it in some form or shape or another uh, to also enhance. And I also had some chance to proc abilities and so forth and so on. Um, I wouldn't say that it was, you know, like the best build ever, but it was viable and it worked. 
Um, all in all, Gimmer Shred is definitely one of those very interesting items that is fun to get your hands on. And, um, and let's talk about getting your hands on it, right? So let's take a look over at Silo's Pen and let's see potentially where we could find ourselves a Gimmer Shred. Because, you know, if we're building a throwing barbarian, there's a very good chance we would like to get our hands on one of these. Now, as a high-level item at level 70, I feel like 300% magic find is a good number um, to uh, run with. Because most characters, by the time they're getting to level 70, 80, they've usually got a pretty decent amount of magic find. Um, and we're going to ignore the quest flags, and we're looking at Mephisto in Hell at 1 in 529. Not a bad chance there. Uh, Diablo in Hell and Bale in Hell all have really good chances to drop you a Gimmer Shred. Um, and um, not really a lot of other good choices. I mean, Blood Raven in Hell in normal difficulty actually not a bad farm choice because she's so easy to get to uh, one in 6236 not a really a great drop chance but if you were a lower level throwing barbarian and you were just trying to get your hands on a gimmer shred early on might be a good choice to farm blood raven uh, let's take a look at super uniques real quick and let's see what kind of monsters we can come up with here um, we've got the Cow King in Hell, uh, a very good chance there. We've got the Countess in Hell, which is a pretty good farming spot for runes. So if you're already farming her for runes, there's a very good chance you could end up with a Gimmer Shred on that run. Uh, we also have Cold Crow, who's in normal dif or at, in Act 1 Hell difficulty, uh, very easy to get to. Uh, Dark Elder and Beetle Burst, also very easy to get to. Those are in Lost City and Far Oasis, respectively. And uh, Bonebreaker, who is in the Crypt. Uh, so we were talking about um, Blood Raven earlier, right? So Blood Raven and Bonebreaker are pretty much right next to each other. So you could farm Blood Raven and Bonebreaker over and over again. That's a pretty easy farm. And Corpse Fire in Hell Difficulty and the Den of Evil also has a pretty good chance. So um, not bad choices there um, all around. Very interesting choices as far as uh, drops go. Is, um... Huh. Looks like Treehead doesn't have a chance to drop this. That's interesting. Uh, Pindle Skin and Hell Difficulty, though, is a pretty good chance there. Um, not bad at 1 in 6,536. And he drops a lot of other good stuff, too. So, you know, might be a good, uh, good choice as well. Um, anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos. Um, even when we were talking about a multi-spectral uh, madness axe, such as Gimmer Shred. And as always, keep watching.